welcome to my channel i'm so glad you joined me today it is monday sun's not shining but it's another start to a week and it's a way we can embrace uh, the opportunities that give us time to, to create art um, embrace the stillness embrace the um alone time to sit and do art you guys ever notice that when you do art you have to be very uh relaxed and you know um maybe breathe deeper put some music on i know i always have music going when i do art so if you find maybe you're feeling a bit anxious or a bit um i don't know just a lot of maybe there's a lot of ants in your pants and you can't really go do things you normally used to do so just maybe go for a walk still your mind sit down put some good tunes on and just do some work i know that is a wonderful time for me when I do those kind of things so I hope try them out and hopefully you can feel the same way beautiful so it was the weekend did you guys do any art I didn't it happens sometimes but what I did do was I went for a walk and I actually saw on my walk a giant big round por uh, porcupine sitting up in a bush at first I thought it was a giant beaver because he looked they kind of look the same, right? They're like, Wah. and they're brown. Um, but um, upon closer inspection, he was a bee, uh, he was a porcupine, and I could get really close up to him, and I could see him up there. And what really um, struck me as interesting was the fact that he had this gorgeous flowing fur, and he didn't look pokey at all. So I enjoyed observing him, and that brings me to another uh, another thing you should do is just observe on your walks because I think being an observant human and noticing all the beauty in the world will make you a fabulous artist. I know it does for me. I love the color of the sky, the color of the trees. That always makes me happy. A bright sunny day is what I love. So although today's not bright and sunny, we are still all together doing art, which is a beautiful thing. So welcome again. So I'm going to show you a couple things, but first I'm going to give you the list again of what we need today. So we're going to keep it super fun, super simple. So we're going to need the old glue stick. This one's Staples. Staples glue stick. Uh, a pencil. Some scissors. And a magazine. This one is from 2014. Lorraine has been cleaning. So I was like, why do I still have this? old news uh, but we're gonna turn it into art which I love to do and also either a piece of paper or those canvas panels I always like to use I'm gonna use this big piece of white uh, panel here so you can see what I'm doing so run along go grab those things and join me in two minutes excellent so while we're waiting I thought I'd share with you this really awesome fun piece of art again from that same friend uh, last week that made me that self portrait you know you know so this one is quite funny this is this we, we call this a mixed media piece because she has used many mediums for this to create this art so i'm gonna let you see this funny little who's that who's that girl she's a mermaid <laughs> so that's me she used a photo of me and she used some sort of twig for my harp and if you feel down here, look at these dealies. Look at that. She glued some shells on there, cut some images from some cool um, fabric or some sort of paper. Uh, so, and also paint. So she did a really cool, really amazing uh, portrait of me as a gift and I cherish it. She's a beautiful person. So thanks for sharing that with me. I hope you enjoyed it. So, okay, I think that was about two minutes. So I hope y'all come back and we're gonna do some art. So, what the heck are we gonna do today, Lorraine? You're wondering? Well, like I said, we're gonna use this old magazine. And if you noticed in magazines, because my other hat's a graphic designer, I love design. But if you ever notice, fonts and words can actually be art. So if you look closely, they're actually quite beautiful. This one is a pattern. So I want you to start looking at type in magazines as patterns, okay? 
So I'll show you another example here. So something like this pink with a pattern, almost look at it like a fabric. Or maybe you want something again, more bold. Here's some beautiful type on some color there. Uh, one more thing here. How about something nice and straight and geometric? like a box here. Okay, so start thinking of as words in magazines as shapes. Now I'll show you what I mean. So you again, you can just watch the video and watch me see what the heck I'm doing, get some inspiration and then try it on your own. Okay, so I'm going to do something like, Oh, I'm going to draw eye. I didn't when I woke up this morning, I didn't think I was going to draw an eye. But now I am. Okay, so I'm going to use my pencil and I'm going to make sure you can see. So I'm going to draw this giant eye. And again, remember I use my finding lines. Can you all see that? Okay, so I'm going to go a bit darker. So I use my finding lines and you don't have to be accurate with this. This is because we're going to use our pencil as shading. So here's my eye coming about. Can you all see? Oh yeah. Okay, so here's my eye coming about. Those of you who know me know I love to draw eyes. I don't know why. I don't know why she likes to draw with eyes. I've been drawing eyes since I was a kid. I don't get it. Here we go. That's how I've gotten so good at it. All right, so that is a sketchy little eye, isn't it? All right, so here's my eye. Now later we can go in and do some shading detail. I want to put that out there for now. So where the magazine comes in is I'm going to look for some textural type for my eyeball. So for instance, uh, maybe I love this green for the eye. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rip it off. I'm going to rip that paper up. And I'm going to think about how I can make this eye work with this green. So for instance, I'm going to cut little strips of this, this type here. Bear with me here, my friends. So to me, when I looked at this, it reminded me of eyelashes. You're like, what? Trust me. Okay, here we go. So here are my type eyelashes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is if I had more time, <laughs> I would cut them into little, see how I'm cutting them into little eyelash shapes? So a little curve, as you can see. A little curve of our eyelash. I'm going to apply my glue. And sorry, this is all down here, but trust me, I'm applying glue feverishly for you. Here we go. Bang, bang, bang. Here's our eyelash. Woo, here's our eyelash. Can you see that? Here's our eyelash. So the idea would be to do a whole row of eyelashes just like that with all my green pieces. And then what I would do also is look about for my eye, I want my pupil to be quite dark full of type. So what I would do is find uh, some type in my magazine that would work. I would say something like, I'm going to rip it out. Something like this here. So you see how I have type. So writing in the blue area. So then I would cut that kind of all out. Leave the little picture out. Like so. Ooh, cutting, cutting. We need a cutting song. Ooh, I won't sing for you. Okay, so then I would cut into little bits and bobs, pieces that would fit into my pupil. So this just depends on whatever image you want to draw. Okay, guys? So down here, like so. Fill it up as you go. Hey, that rhymes. Fill it up as you go. Why? Watching someone cut. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> uh, 
there's no right or wrong with this, you know? We're just gonna go with the flow. So then here we go. So you can see I'm starting to overlap text. Now, you can do as much or as little of the magazine aspect as you want because we have our friend here, Pencil. Hello, friend. Pencil, I have a lot of art supplies as friends. Do you realize that? <laughs> okay, so we can use this how much we want, how little we want. If you wanted to cover this whole eye in magazine, go for it. But if you wanted to do some stuff with the pencil, 50-50, totally up to you. So I would just shade as you would. So I'm imagining where my light source is up here. And so I'm going to make some shadow down my eye here, down my iris. Okay. So we got the pupil iris and then the whites of our eyes. And one little thing I like to do to show um, shading is some cross hatching. So do you guys know what that is? So I'm going to get really close with my panel here. So cross hatching is where you go one way and then another way. And with your cross hatching, you can kind of show a bit of, um, you can do a curve and you can kind of make that eye start to really look three dimensional. Do you know what I mean? Okay. And over here, don't forget the whites of your eyes. So I'm really regulating how hard and how light I'm applying pressure to my pencil. So up here, I'm going really hard down here because my light is coming from here light and here is the shadow now filling up my pupil with type that's what I would do I'd leave a little highlight here and even if you wanted to forget the type and just go really hard with your pencil and fill it up that would work too this is your this is your art project so you do what you like all right so that you kind of get the idea right here we go so what I want to do is show you a final piece because I think sometimes it gives us a really good idea where we're going with this. And then you can start knowing where you want to end up. So this is one that I did. This is where I'm going with this puppy. So what I did was I drew all of her here. So this is a canvas panel, but I drew all of her here. So this is all drawing. And then if you look really close, you can see the background was all that rectangular uh, kind of simple text that I cut out. So I created a back panel of just regular text. I left out where I wanted to do my drawing. So best case, if you wanted to copy this, I would draw her first. And this is all just with a pencil. I drew her first, added some shadow. Remember what I showed you with the side of your pencil. When I was happy with her, then I went into the text here. This is all just glued down straight text right from a magazine article. And then I took two B's, so you know, some large B's in writing. I found some large B's as barrettes. <laughs> and then I found a bunch of orange text. Kind of what I was showing you with this green text here. I found a bunch of orange text for her hair. So just by use of simple planning, I created this really cool image and I did this in about an hour. So maybe, or probably an hour and a half, but I took my time and I really thought it out. So, you know, what, ca what causes that constant uh, background here is the, is the straight text that I used as a background pattern. And then I layered some different pieces of color text for her hair. And then the rest was drawing. So pretty cool, hey? So you can see where you go from this five seconds to maybe an hour and a half. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, give it a whirl. It's a way that you can do some cool art without even having to really draw. So I hope you enjoyed. So for tomorrow, our list is right here. Tuesday supply list. So we're gonna need magazines again. Clear packing tape. So you know the rolls of clear packing tape. So not masking tape. The clear stuff that you use for boxes. Markers. Svelte markers. A jar of water. Pencil or stick. And scrap paper. 
and I'm gonna give you a sneak peek into what we're gonna do tomorrow. Okay, you ready? That's all you get to see. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to share this with you before we go. So here's some art I have done lately. Now here are two, we call this a, a diptych. So what that is, is are two pieces that go together. I'm gonna back up here. Two pieces that go together, or they could be on their own. So that's a diptych I did. So it's kind of like when you're, when you're laying in the grass. Oh, remember grass, guys? Oh, I can't wait till there's grass. I can't wait to sit in some grass. And uh, so when you're laying in the grass and you're looking at poppies. So I just wanted to share that with you before we go. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys had fun. I know I had fun with you today. And I hope you join me tomorrow, four o'clock Mountain Standard Time for our little hee <laughs> Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay, so thank you. Keep doing art, guys. Keep filling that, that heart with art. I tell you, it makes me happy every day. Thanks for joining me. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.